class. I'm a professor at her. It's, uh, what, February 17th? That's what the... Yeah, February 17th. Snowy outside. And, um... Just kind of, a uh, Maybe it's a winter depression. Maybe it's other things that I'm seeing out there. Or, um, maybe it's part of the culmination of uh, trying to balance out work, my school stuff for, for paralegal, and um, my civic engagement and band, and trying to do this as well at the same time. And um, I'm at kind of a points and seeing some of the trends with my uh, channel going on and some of the, with the videos that I've posted lately. Not much, but just a few. I've um, come to the point of uh, I'm at this video here, I'm kind of giving up. I, um, I, I guess I'm kind of throwing the towel in, uh, in, in some way with the effort here. Um, you know, I've received a lot of support in the past, but, you know, I've been doing this for such a long time, such a long time since 2018, June of 2018, you know, before, before the hype half, before all the side patches and all the craziness with the hats that is now what we know, and, um, never really took off, so been stuck at, like, you know, a hundred sub, new subs, every 18 months, so, um, new people keep coming in, which is cool, but, you know, I guess they connect with the audience a little bit better than I do, so, um, this is my, my give up video, I, I guess you could say, um, no, really nowhere near the hype train anymore, I'm just trying to stick my arm out, and uh, see if uh, see if I can grab on the, the hype train and maybe stay current, or maybe my arm will just be completely ripped off, reaching out to grab onto something. So, I um, I'm giving up in this video here. I figured, you know what? If talking about lids for three straight videos and only getting 125 cumulative views in about a 10 day maybe 12 day time span doesn't get me any traction, then I'll just bottom out. I'll talk about some goddamn pins then, I guess. I'll conform to the mindlessness that is pins then. How about that? That's my giving up here. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking around here. I'm, I'm in the long haul here. But no, I'm giving, in this video, I'm totally giving up my efforts on. So usually I go a little bit more professional. I'm using using my, my phone. I have an LG G8 and use the camera there. It's an okay camera. I'm gonna get a new phone soon. Um, and then I, you know, put it on the computer. I have a better computer than this one. One that has like real parts in it. Um, big desktop that I built, 3060 graphics card inside. You know, using Adobe Premiere Pro like an adult would and After Effects for editing, you know, making it really cool looking. But this time, I'm just saying, fuck it. Let's just give up the effort here and maybe conform to what everyone wants to drool about. Pins. I only have pins here because I keep getting these free hats. And no, by the way, well, I keep getting free pins with, the, with these pre-orders I've gotten through with Hat Club primarily, a few other places, a few other uh, hats too. They weren't pre-orders. Um, this is my give-up hat as well. Watermelon, Cubs, pre-order, hat club. The sticker is... This, this is how much I don't care about this hat. That the sticker... Uh, not just the sizing sticker, but the price sticker is still on. The baseball sticker underneath. The silver one is still on there. That's how much I'm giving up on this video. You wouldn't notice. I'm recording on my iPad. No extra microphones. No extra special setup, no Yeti mic, no nothing, no, nothing special. I'm using the goddamn selfie camera on here. It looks okay, actually. I'm kind of surprised here, but I'm giving up here. So, um, I, let, let's talk about pins. You know, maybe I'll get some, maybe I'll get some more views out of this than before to see if I can relate to all the fresh new hat collectors out there. Yeah, I've been collecting only for about a year, maybe a year and a half at most. 
because they're lucky enough. So, uh, let's get into class. Class is in session. All right, let's go. So, let me go into this hat here. And this is my first custom hat that I made. Uh, this is back in... Probably couldn't hear me because I had the, my hat in the way. This is my first custom hat that I made. Uh, it's, uh, it says Psalm 46 on the front in Roman numerals. It's a old style font uh, to, rep to be more uh, close to like what they used for the printing press back in like the 1500s. Big deal for my church. I'm L Lutheran. Uh, there is a monk, uh, Martin Luther, who basically told the Pope October 31st, 1517, and said, hey, you don't have the right role. Your, what your job is, is actually, it's a fake job. So get out of your position there. Uh, you have no dominion like you think you do. So, and I started a whole Protestant revolution and big political revolution. It's a very big deal in, in European history. And it was the 500th anniversary in 2017 and I was at Concordia, Chicago. And we went on a big... Uh, road trip with the band and the choir to da to Dallas and played at one of the big symphony halls there. It was really cool. So I want to make a custom hat. That's when I was still into early on into hats, but I didn't have my channel. Um, and and every time I would travel, whether it be for college band or even high school band, I would dress up. Ever since junior year of high school, I would dress up. I found a vest. Like a dress vest that guys would wear, wore that to down to um, a band competition in the Central Illinois for marching band. And people were like, "Well, it's like five in the morning. Why are you wearing a, a vest like that?" I'm like, "We're driving coach. Not a lot of people get to enjoy this kind of luxury. So you know, might as well dress up like they did back in the the fifties, the sixties when people would want to play. So I present I would dress up fancy for at least the first day, so they're like the big tours for Concordia, 10 day tours, I would dress up the first day, maybe second. And I had a lot of red on, so I wanted this red hat. Um, significant, Psalm 46 is based on, is in the Bible. Um, also a big hymn for Lutherans, Mighty Fortress, uh, phrase in German on the side there. And I wanted to have the Luther Rose seal stitched in, but it didn't fit. It didn't fit the stitching design that the little machine could handle. So, I got it on a pin. So, yeah. So, I was wearing pins before all of you. This is my oh, this is the only pins I have that I really wear on a hat. So, get on my level. Welcome to the welcome to the bandwagon. I've been leading this ever since 2017. So. Professor Hatter is always ahead of the curve here. Come on, come on, you can, you can follow along. It's okay, it's okay. So, that's my only pin that I really wear on hats. So, um, let's uh, get into the other pins here in the, the bag. So let's see what we have in here. I have been trying to, to put together all the pins that I could. Um, mainly they're handheld pins, so I'm just trying to adjust the, uh, I'm not used to using the uh, the crappy camera here, so pardon my, uh, my uh, improper uh, camera angle in here and techniques. So let's start off with this big one that I haven't opened up. This is one of those Hack Club Insider pins where, you know, you're an insider. They don't know what that word means, so I, yeah, yeah no, I didn't like it. Um, I, I like the badge design, but the meaning of it, meh. Um, other ones I haven't opened up from the the packages. The um, well, he's upside down. He's there. It's the uh, campfire ones, the yeah, Orioles and the Cubs one. So, um, yeah. Oh, that one fell off. Sweetheart hat. I kind of wish I got the Cubs one, but I got the Orioles one because I was uh, it was kind of my simp 
some kind of work there. Um, and I mean, this is one of the bigger pins. It looks cool, but it's kind of big. Now I could not find my Sugar Shack pin with, I mean, that's like probably the most effort I put, would probably say I put into this video would be trying to look for that one because it was so large and obnoxiously big that it's like, whoa, this is like really stupid. You know, I'm never gonna wear this, but it's just kind of stupid. Might as well just, you know, kind of keep it for historical sake. I mean, I'm a history major. I am a historian. I like to, you know, I really kept these pins because of the, his, the historicness of it. So that way I can, you know, look back, you know, years from now when, when all the pin hype and all the other fitted hype has died down, I can say, you know, back in my day, back in my day, like another old man that I'll be. So, uh, sweetheart, uh, pin here, uh, there. Um, I think this is one of the, one of the original black and white pink UV hats, or no, I, I was thinking cookies and cream, but this is the cookies and cream one, because it has the actual cookie dunking in strawberry milk so um hey remember when i dunked a hat into a large glass of milk and ate the hat yeah probably no one remembers that because probably didn't watch the video but you should you're not gonna see the number one edits of any hat channel on this video here but all of my other videos will for sure be better at editing again i'm giving up in this video i'm just you know screw it we're talking about pins, just might as well go up here. Uh, clink room pin. Um, I don't have too many clink room hats. I mean, it's not because of, oh, they take forever to make. Well, that was, I mean, even before the global sh labor sh and material shortage, I didn't always get clink room hats just because they weren't really sports related, but I didn't have as much of a tangible or sentimental way of connecting to those hats. So, Nothing against clink room, but not just a fan of the pin. Green eggs and ham. I want this collection to be remade. There were a lot of hats that I either missed out on or didn't get a chance to get, or my Cubs one doesn't fit because I saw I was a 7 5 eighths back then, but I'm really a 7.5, so yeah. I kind of we have to keep these separate here. Um, this one, this one, I, I'm pretty sure this one is from the OG, from one of the early pre orders. The, the hat club had dubbed in 2020 the black and white pink uv um or the retconned cookies, cookies and cream 1.0 pack um yeah hat club trying to retcon their own hat collections kind of dumb um what's this one uh, an og hat club pen kind of cool i'm just looking at the camera here and oh, okay Look at the camera here, just grabbing whatever. Um, this is Topper, and I got a pink and purple looking Rocky hat. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Got like the, the Topper's logo as the main pin, and then as a um, clipping mask, as, uh, the prof as the professional word would be, uh, if you know your Photoshop, uh, a clipping mask of the Rockies logo with the streaking baseball there and the Rocky Mountains there. Um, or inside the tee. So that's uh, actually kind of cool. Not that I'm going to wear it. What? Who, who are you in the back there? Oh, when they... Um, uh, did the... I think it was toward the end of 2020, one of the last pre-orders, um, was the All-Star Game Icy Blue and Pinky UVs. So I got the Boston Red Sox. 99 pink uv the navy hat which i realized like months after i got the hat that the hat is totally crooked um i'll see if i can take a picture of it later and try to put it in the video um but yeah it's, it, it was crooked uh kind of sucked because it was a cool hat uh, i saw that one already from this collection i had only pre-ordered the cubs one and then i eventually got the orioles and the nationals as like a kind of when they did the leftover drops God, I miss leftover drops. Like, I miss pre-orders. Another OG pin. The candy. Cotton candy. This is another collection. I got a few good ones on. Of course, the Cubs and the Orioles were like the top two. 
or top two of like five or in the top five of the uh, collection. But kind of will go back from like maybe the White Sox, the, the Blue Jays, maybe. Maybe the Twins, too. That's what I want to go back for. So, Hat Club, can you please uh, look into remaking, re releasing the Green Eggs and Ham and the Cotton Candy collection, please? Thanks. Uh, if anyone knows what this one is from, I already saw this one, let me know. Uh, it's too many, too many pinkies to, to keep up with. Uh, pink Lemonade. This one, it took me a while to kind of get into for the collection. Wasn't a fan of it at first, but I grown, had grown to like it. Maybe a re-release would be okay. Because, well, I mean, I would just play one like the Blue Jays hat. I mean, granted, yes, the fundamental purpose of a 1550 fitted hat like this one is to root for the team that's on the front of, of on the hat. So, you know, if you get the hat, it's presumed that you're rooting for the Padres, that you like the Padres. So, for me, I'm not a Blue Jays fan necessarily. I It's not that I don't like them. It's just I don't have a strong connection to them. But their 90s logo, if I can find a way to put it on the screen, that's like one of the best logos in baseball. So, that's why I like the Blue Jays logos and kind of want the Blue Jay hat. That, I will admit, for uh, aesthetic reasons to wanting that kind of hat. Um, another hat club one, kind of a shiny there. Green Eggs and Ham. Uh, who are you? Oh, look at that. The, the crappy pin to match the crappy hat that I have on here. The uh, watermelon. Um, I mean, green is my favorite color, but it's just it was kind of a poor delivery I mean, for me. If you love the watermelon collection, that's fantastic. I'm glad that you found the watermelon hats a good home. Uh, treat them well then. I mean, it's not like I treat these hats crappily. It's just I don't, I don't wear them a lot. I mean, I still have them like a tote, a shoebox thing that we all get from the container store. I just don't wear them as often. But if you found a, a home for your, your watermelon hat, because I got the Cubs and the Nationals one, uh, Nationals one was like a real letdown. Maybe I should have worn that hat for this video. It's like a real like letdown and like give up kind of notion. Um, yeah, but uh, good for you for uh, finding the watermelon collection a good home. Let's see. The blue all-star game. I got the Nationals. That's like one of like my top hats from 2020. And like overall, like it is, I mean, I love Navy and Columbia blue light blue because those are my high school colors and um so this is a great hat and i eventually got the angels 2010 all-star game and that's in a navy with an icy blue I, that was a, a rare one I, I like it i wish they would bring back the navy um another cotton candy and then the last one here another uh water well, i swear i had some other ones that were from other pre-orders or, or, or wherever. So, those are all my pins there. Ta-da! Uh, you kind of stare at them and you kind of wish, oh, maybe I can have that one. I'll buy it off the pin. I, mean, I don't necessarily know if you would actually sell them. It, it, the only reason why I'm like, I'm used to doing them is like, I mentioned before how, like, I'm in the story. I, I like the history of it, so it'd be nice to, like, you know, keep them for, like, you know, years from now. It's like, oh, you know, when I was younger and we were collecting hats, you know, this is what uh, we, we had. So, I mean, I remember giving a, a pen or two away, and, like, someone was, like, offering me, like, hey, I'll give you 15, 20 bucks for this. I'm like, just send me the address and five bucks. For shipping so i mean I'm, as i'm as i'm recording this video at this, at this exact point i'm trying to look to see if i have any more in in my uh my room here my desk drawer so, and i uh I'm telling it short here i have pins from other occasions but no other hat related pins like i thought um so but also consider 
uh, this is based off the hats. These pins are based off the hats that I actually got compared to some of the hats that I had missed out on um, in the past. So, yeah. All right, so that's going to wrap up my give up video, my I don't give a shit video. Um, so yeah, let, you let me know if you like pins or not. If you do like pins, then good. Um, you have found them a good home then, you've, you've utilized them, but there are plenty of examples out there, especially especially the New, New York hat collectors out there that I see that sometimes it's the New York people and I see even Chicago people will just desecrate their hats and like put so many pins on there there's like there's like 10 pins on one side of the hat there's like three on the top and then on the side down here on the other side and at some point it's like where the fuck is the hat what are you wearing then and there are some times where I'll see I don't know if I have the, the hat one of the hats here but I'm, I'm sure you've seen the um the Cubs logo before. Uh, it, it's not the exact one that I'm thinking of, but it's it's like the '90s one where it has like the '90 All Star Five hat where it's like the bear was in the circle. I've seen people like put like sunglasses pins on on there, and it's like you're ruining the hat. You're ruining the logo. You're 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 desecrating the Cubs logo, and that's a good logo. That's like another good logo out there in the baseball world as well. So, again, I'm being an old man about this. I'm totally being an old man about this. So, if someone out there wants to really come back at me to say how great pins are, please leave in the comments what what makes pins great. What um, What's the appeal to them? What's the allure of pissing $20 away at least sometimes for a small object to put on your hat when the focus of the hat should be on the front for your sports team, your college, or even like a custom logo kind of thing. This one's kind of a stretch, but again, the, the point of hats is to root for sports teams. Um, so yeah, so let me know in the comments down below your thoughts about pins. Um, did I strike a nerve with someone here? I'm, I'm kind of hoping I did. I'm just here to, to try to grovel for, for attention here. Um, and my uh, conformity video here. Trying to see what, um, what I can throw on the wall, see what sticks to the chalkboard. Um, yeah. Um, leave a like, leave a dislike. I, I don't care. Um, those numbers don't matter to me. It's more about the dialogue in the, com in the comment section of what you and I talk about and what you can talk about with your peers in the comment section about pins. Um, talking about how good they are, how bad they are, how some things can, how the pins can kind of go a little overboard sometimes. Or like the hat, you know, it's like so overblown with pins. You're like, hey, is there like a chiropractor around for like when this guy's neck like goes out? To like fix his neck? Anyone? Anyone like a chiropractor? You can always get that a degree online from the University of Phoenix in like what, ten minutes? Maybe, maybe eight if you, maybe seven minutes if you skim through. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to um, the last part about me giving up on this video. One, talk about pins. Two, having my give up hat. I mean, it's a cup hat too. Having my give one of my give up hats. Uh, recording on my iPad. Talk about pins. I'm going to go off and really give up on this video. Instead of doing my top tier editing work on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects, I'm going to go back to what it was like to be in middle school and edit this out on iMovie. So, um, so, yeah, so next time, the next video that you probably see out, I will be back to my regular self being the number one hat channel on YouTube out there. So, uh, as always, hats off to you for watching, and I'll see you next time in class, everyone. Class is dismissed. Bye, everyone.